Now that you have learned how to use your GC to solve an SOLE, we will apply the skill to solve practical problems. To learn how to do so, we will go through example 5 of your lecture notes. Before I begin on example 5, I'm going to share with you something that eventually you might find useful when it comes to solving problems, be it in math or in other sciences. Brilliant problem solvers may have different ways of seeking inspirations to solve problems, but all of them will agree that whenever they attempt a problem, they go through the same stages of problem solving. The first thing they do when they try to solve a problem is to understand the problem. Drawing a diagram or listing down the first few terms in a question are some ways to understand the problem. In fact, asking someone who has previously attempted the problem is another way to get a better understanding. After understanding the problem, the next step is to devise a plan. The plan to solving a problem might be to first consider a simpler problem, it might be to use the trial and error method, or it might be to look for pattern, which is what we usually use when it comes to solving practical problems in APGP. After the plan has been devised, problem solvers will carry out the plan. The last stage of problem solving is to check and extend. Competent problem solvers will always make sure that they check their solutions. And the best problem solvers will not be content just to solve the problem. They will extend the problem and try to find solutions to more general ones. The thing about problem solving is that at any one stage when you're stuck, you can always go back to the previous stages. So if you're stuck when you are carrying out your plan, you should probably check if you have understood the problem correctly or see if you can devise a new plan. It was this handsome man named George Polya a Hungarian mathematician who realized that all problem solvers go through these four stages of problem solving. Thus, these four stages of problem solving, understanding the problem, devising a plan, carrying out the plan, and check and extend, are known as Polya's model of problem solving. We are going to now apply Polya's model to solve example 5. In example 5, we are provided with a table that summarizes the handphone usage and bill of a customer over 3 months. Given the handphone usage of the customer in the 4th month, we are asked to find the bill for the 4th month. According to Polya, in order to solve this problem, we need to first understand the problem. What is it we need to find? Total bill in the 4th month. What do we need to know in order to find the total bill? We need to know charges for peak hours, non-peak hours and SMS usages respectively. Now that we know what we need to find, we need to devise a plan to find all these unknowns. How can we find the respective charges? One way to do so is to form a system of linear equations involving the charges and then solving the system of linear equations to find the charges. And that's what we're going to do. Since we need to find the charges, we first define them as our variables. Next, we make use of the handphone usage and bill of the customer over the first three months to form three equations. For example, since the customer used his handphone for 100 minutes during peak hours, 100 minutes during non-peak hours, and he sent out 400 SMSs in the first month, and his bill for that month is $39, which is 3,900 cents, we have the first equation. 100x1 plus 100x2 plus 400x3 equals to 3,900. The second and third equations are formed similarly. Then, we solve this system of three linear equations and three variables using GC. How can we check our answer? We can sub the values of x1, x2 and x3 back into the left hand side of any of the three equations above to check that it equals to the right hand side. Finally, since the question asks for his bill in the fourth month and we are told that he spoke on the phone for 400 minutes during peak hours, 300 minutes during non-peak hours and he sent out 360 SMSs in total, we can find the answer accordingly. To summarize what we have learned in this video, firstly, we have been introduced Polya's model of problem solving. According to Polya, problem solving involves four stages, namely, understand the problem, devise a plan, carry out the plan, and then check and extend. Also, we went through example 5 of your lecture notes to get an idea of how to formulate SOLE to solve practical problems. You should now be able to attempt your tutorial. In case you're stuck, you can refer to the video hints for tutorial question 4, question 5 and question 6 in this content package.